good morning bianca here if you guys are new welcome in today's video i am filming a what i do to prepare for vacation a week before my trip i usually like to get a list of things done before i go on vacation like my nails my hair obviously packing going to the store and grabbing last minute things essentials that i would need for vacation so i thought i'd vlog this experience and take you guys along with me today i have a hair appointment so i'm super super excited about that that's why it's kind of just like not done i am actually running late not gonna lie but yeah i'm about to make a smoothie and head out the door let's hop right into this video I'm so mad because I had meant to put falsies on, but then I ran out of lash glue, so I had no choice but to not wear falsies today. Got my smoothie, so bright out. So I also brought some snacks with me, obviously, because with being vegan, it can be a bit complicated trying to get food out to eat especially in an area that you're not really too familiar with, even though I am gonna be in Worcester still, but there's not like many vegan options for takeout and I don't know how long I'm gonna be here for. So I just made my smoothie, I brought some chips, I brought some chocolate. Um, if anything, I can call Mark to have him bring me some food. But yes, I am running really, really late, so I'm just gonna GPS the location and be on my way. I also brought my laptop to get some work done as well. My GPS says it's 12 minutes away and I'm already 15 minutes late, so I'm gonna be there at 9.25 when I was supposed to be there at 9. <laughs> but I just feel like the girl who's doing my hair, I went to school with, I went to spot tech with her, if you guys remember when I went to aesthetic school a few years back. So she knows me, she knows that I'm always running late, I'm horrible with time management, so I'm sure she told me nine o'clock for a reason. <laughs> I made it! Literally do everything with no hands. Let's do this. So I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off out of nowhere. It literally just became spring here in Massachusetts So I'm just like not mentally prepared for it to be spring even though I want it to be spring so bad My body is just like hasn't reached that transition point yet, but I just got out of the hair salon I'm absolutely obsessed with my hair guys, Caitlin killed it. She took a before and after picture that she's eventually gonna post on her Instagram and I'll definitely put it somewhere in this video for you guys. The hair salon to the employees, to the service, their hours are amazing. If you guys are from the area at all, I highly recommend this place. I am about to drive home, jam out, chill out, probably get ready to go to the gym. I cleaned my whole apartment last night so I'm excited to just go home and like chill out for a little bit and show Mark my new hair. I'll see guys when I get home so I just got home and I'm chefing up some vegan bacon with some vegan scrambled eggs 
This is a little bit broken, but don't mind that. I did just get a few packages in, and I wanted to show you guys. The Pretty Little Thing package, like I had said, arrives. I'm just gonna quickly like show you guys, because I am gonna do like a separate try-on haul like type of video. I also got a package from Caseify as well. Caseify hooking it up with some cases. Super excited to see what they sent me, because a bitch is caseless right now, and I'm risky and don't be rocking a case on my phone, but I should, especially because I'm about to go on vacation, so coming in at perfect timing. I also got a box from BoxyCharm. I love when they send me their boxes. They always send amazing products that I genuinely end up using. But let me grab some scissors so I can open up these packages. Let's start off with a boxy charm because why not? I am like the worst at cutting things open. French lavender body wash infused buffer. I just saw Kylie open this up on her snap the other day, so mmm, does smell really, really good. I'm excited to use that. And then the last thing that we have is a living in color palette. These are the colors super pretty warm summer vibes especially with this blue right here and these pops of pinks next we have caseify oh they're so cute these are the cases that they sent over to me so we have this one that says bianca and it actually moves like the stuff that's in it like sand or whatever I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so cool. And then I thought this one was clear at first, but it's actually a freaking mirror. Like, how sick is that? On to the next package. We have pretty little thing. Let's cut this bitch open. It honestly went crazy, so... So I actually need to try these on, and I hope they fit me, because they didn't have any half sizes. But I got these cute little sandals. Ooh, perfect. I'm so happy I didn't size up. These are so perfect. All right, I want to save like the whole review and all that for the actual haul. And then I also got this leopard bikini as well. It's probably going to be like a cover up or something for the beach. This is a bathing suit top. This part ties into like a cute little knot. I could also wear this as just like a regular top. These are the bathing suit bottoms that go with that top next i got these sunglasses and that's it guys that's my little unboxing lots of new things for vacay i am about to get ready to go to the gym so i'll see you guys soon i'm about to put this one on my phone right now because i just love the sand effect yes Hey guys, hey, so it is Wednesday today and I am leaving Sunday, so this is day two of vlogging. I'm about to go get my toes done. I'm actually with Amber. Hey. <laughs> She's actually supposed to be in school right now, but she didn't feel good, so here she is. So we're about to go get our toes done. It's gonna be a relaxing day. I have other content that I have to film later, but let's do this. <laughs> So good, I feel nice and clean and refreshed. Yeah, you see, I just wish she didn't like cut them as short. Like, I like my big toenail to be big. Usually places will ask you. It's okay, they still look decent. Still content with them. Another thing done off of the checklist, all I have left to do now are my hands, which I'm getting done on Friday, and I have to make a target trip to grab like essential traveling things and just pack, so we're almost there. See you guys soon. Good morning guys, it is officially day three of vlogging. I skipped yesterday, which was Thursday, so today's Friday, and I have my nail appointment soon. My nail appointment's at 1.30, and it is currently 10 30 so we have a few hours me and mark are about to head to target and grab essential things for the house and for traveling of course as you guys know the coronavirus is like a huge epidemic right now um i don't know when this vlog is going to be going up 
but I'm sure the coronavirus will still be being talked about by the time this goes up. So we're just gonna go try and find some sanitizing wipes, sanitizer, and then obviously just some travel needs. I just wanna get like a big pack of sanitizing wipes so that when I'm on the plane, I can literally wipe down every single surface that's gonna be near me. And then I also have a mask that I'm gonna wear to the airport as well. So yeah, let's head to Target. I need some Starbucks in me. I like need a coffee right now. So gloomy out today, guys. Rain puddles. Rainy, rainy day. Let me tell you, a bitch is definitely ready for the Bahamas. Cause this shit is just not it. Oh my god, this cart, I can't. So I just made like a little list at home on my phone of like things that I need from here. I'm currently in the travel section and since the coronavirus is currently going on, we have literal signs and everything is ransacked for the most part. No hand sanitizer, no sani wipes. So I'm pretty much fucked. But I literally leave like in a day and a half. I have a loofah that I can take on vacay. That's one thing I needed. I also needed soap. I'm dead. This is literally a mini one of what I use at home. So cute. This is a two pack. Yes, this is what I got last time. I'm just gonna grab these little cheap shampoo and conditioners. I just like to get these ones when I travel. Even though I just got my hair done. No disinfectant wipes, no disinfectant sprays. Where do we even go? We're being at Target right now. We got most of our things on our list besides hand soap and disinfectant wipes. I just got to the nail salon and before this I stopped at Home Depot and CVS. Home Depot only had like disinfecting spray for like the air and clothes so I got that. Nails looking on fleek. I am so obsessed with this, guys. I think this might like be my new thing. The French with the color, like it's so dope. I just feel like it's so classy, but like poppin'. Like I'm a bad bitch, but I'm a classy bitch at the same damn time. About to head home, guys. I have so much to do. My trip is literally in a day and a half and i think this is about it for today's vlog so i'll probably end it here for today but tomorrow i will be packing and getting everything situated and ready to leave for sunday so stay tuned for tomorrow it'll be a day for me but it'll be like two seconds for you so see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is officially saturday i leave tomorrow <sighs> If you guys could see what I'm looking at right now, I'm just like overpacking. I'm over it, I'm so freaking over it, but you guys are gonna see in a second. I have everything laid out of what I am bringing with me, all my outfits, my makeup, my hygiene type of stuff, and my accessories. So all I have to really do is put it in my suitcase and then figure out my airport outfit. So yeah, let's get it done, honestly. Basically, I have all of my swimwear laid out right here. So oh, I need to really invest in some travel bags that will make my life so much easier so I can just have everything sectioned off and just throw the travel bags in here. For my like accessories and all that stuff, I separate them in all little bags, but like my clothes, I feel like I definitely need to invest in something like that for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna first put in my sleepy stuff. I also am gonna bring a workout outfit. This is my workout by Katia ribbed set and then we have the ballet top in black. So I'm just gonna bring that just in case I do decide that I want to work out at some point. Next I have all of my pretty little thin clothes that I showed you guys in the haul. So next I'm just gonna throw all of like my underwear, socks, and bras into like the section right here. All right, so that part is done. And then I have all my swimwear as well. So I'm just going to pack them as is. So 
so much swimwear. It's like insane. Not the neatest, but it is what it is. And I also got this little pile from Target when I went there the other day. Just got this cute little top. Then this is a bandeau. We got these little shorts and then these shorts as well. So I'm just gonna put all the tops together. So all the shorts, I'll put right on top of my workout clothes. And then for my tops, I'm just gonna put right next to the bathing suits right here. I honestly might bring a few more tops. I just have to look through my tops and see what I have. Even though I feel like I have a decent amount of outfits. <sighs> I did this the opposite way. It's okay. We can just do it really quick over again. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Like, are you dumb? Easy fix though, very, very easy fix. As you guys just saw, put these shoes back in. All right, so for the accessory portion, I got quite a few accessories, guys. We'll just be putting them inside this little bag, bringing these scrunchies that I just got from Target. I have these earrings from Pretty Little Thing, as well as these tri-set hoops. My bracelet. I got these cute little dangly hoops from Target. Little barrettes from Target last night as well. I kind of splurged at Target. So don't judge, but these are so cute. I love the material of them. Two pairs of sunglasses. I have my Ray-Bans and then just these clear ones that are UV protection. I'm also gonna bring this little anklet. So I'm also bringing these cute little hoops as well. I love the detail on them, like this is the cutest thing ever. They're not super big, they're like a medium size. And then I'm also just bringing like a very thin chain necklace. And then I have this little cross pendant necklace as well. I got this from my grandma for Christmas, which is so cute. It's like a little rose gold and silver cross pendant with some diamonds in it. And hopefully my necklaces don't get all tangled in here. And then I'm also just gonna be bringing this phone case as well. This is from Caseify. Because right now I just have this one on it still which honestly guys I didn't even realize that this was glow in the dark as well like this purple part the sand it glows in the dark once you put a black light on it super cool but just in case I want to switch that out on the trip I have that and then I'm also just gonna be bringing a black belt this has a gold buckle on it and then a brown belt with a gold buckle on it accessory bag is all set. I also already prepared my other bags as well. This is my skincare bag. I absolutely love this bag, guys. I got it from Victoria's Secret as a gift. Mark got it for me. But in this bag, I just basically have like all my skincare essentials. I have some sheet masks. All of the face products that I brought for the most part are from Good Molecule. So this is a priming moisturizer this is a toner a hyaluronic acid serum and then we have two other oils so this one is a pure cold press rose hip seed oil and then this one is a ultra hydrating facial oil i'm gonna bring both of them with me the murad hydrating eye cream as well and then this hydrobionic recovering sleeping mask i like to wear this honestly every single night super hydrating super moisturizing and my skin just looks super bright after using this that's basically all i'm bringing for skincare my skincare is very extensive guys so that's that I have a whole bag dedicated to all my skincare I'm gonna put that in with my clothes just because of the glass bottles and stuff and then I have my makeup bag that is also already prepped everything is all set in here I have all my lipsticks in here I got this bag off of Amazon and it's honestly the best thing ever Ever. it's so helpful it makes packing your makeup super easy and just keeping everything in this one area I absolutely love it this is by Roni Romeon it's from Amazon if you just type in like travel makeup bags I'm sure something similar to this will pop up last but not least for the suitcase portion of this we have all of our toiletries in here for like the shower some perfume and i love this because you can literally it has like a little hook so you can just hang this up by the shower and just keep everything in the bag or obviously if you're staying for long you can just take everything out of the bag and settle in but i got this from amazon as well and this brand is called Composy. This is it right here. 
Next, all I have to do is fill up this little bag with my electronics. So I have like my headphones, my camera charger, my camera battery, my SD card, my external hard drive, laptop charger, phone charger, Apple Watch charger, and then my laptop. I'm bringing this backpack as my carry-on. So I'm going to put my laptop and all of my electronic accessories in here and obviously I'll leave room for like snacks and stuff. Once I weigh this, if this is overweight, I will see what I can put in here. Like I can maybe put like my miscellaneous like bags and stuff. I already have my airport outfit picked out as well, which I will show you guys. Also, sorry for my appearance. I look like absolute ass. I worked all morning and then I took a nap when I got home and this is just the aftermath. So, for my airport outfit, I have this Supreme fanny pack, which already is packed with all the things that I need. Sanitizing wipe, sanitizer, my passport, everything, my ID, all that good stuff. I'm also going to be wearing these glasses to the airport, which are from Pretty Little Thing. I got this cute little cropped tie-dye sweatshirt, along with this pink sports bra. I'm just going to be pairing it with some super comfy, cozy champion joggers and then just my Yeezys. I love these ones because they have like the neon on the side right here and it'll match my sweatshirt because it has a little bit of neon in it. And to top it off, I also have my mask because we all know with the coronavirus going on right now, a bitch is not trying to get sick. Hopefully I'm fully protected. Hopefully I don't get sick. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the packing. I just have to pack my last things that are kind of like being utilized right now. Like I'm kind of charging everything, my batteries, my watch, my phone. So I usually like to pack that like right before I leave. I'll probably pack all of that stuff in the morning. That's it for this vlog. Honestly, I will be vlogging my trip in the Bahamas, so stay tuned for that vlog. I'm gonna hop off because I look like ass, and I'm sorry that I'm ending this vlog looking like a hot mess. But a bitch is traveling, and I'm kind of stressed, and it's my first time traveling alone, so. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all on my next video. Bye!